Downboy TV supplementation for optimal training support. Um, here we have it. Um, as you can see, um, there's quite a quite a range going on here, but I'll just break it down with you uh, one by one in what I take on a daily basis or regular basis. All right. First of all, um, a multivitamin. I mean, it's all important to have a good multivitamin just to, you know, um, make sure you have all the nutrients possible um, you're not missing out on anything so I mean my choice uh, my personal choice is animal pack um, one scoop of this it's a powdered form uh, uh, you know uh, which is which is more or less uh, uh, micronized so you can you can put it in your oats and mix it up and have it in the mornings um, they used to have this in tablets and they were horrific I mean uh, you're barely swallowing them it was a struggle but these powdered forms is, is, is pretty good. Um, the composition is, is fairly extensive. You know, you got the whole ranges going on. You got the amino acid complex, you got the performance complex, you know, antioxidant complex, digestive enzymes as well. But you know, it's, it covers you a significant amount. Um, I take one scoop and that, that does for me, which is around what, five grams? Yep, that's fine, yeah, five grams. So yeah, so this is my multivitamin choice, and it's a it's a solid, it's a solid multivitamin. Um, definitely, you know, one to consider. All right, that is my supplement support uh, in terms of multivitamin. Another um, support uh, that I take on top of that is uh, your joints, joint support. Uh, joint support. Um, I personally use this blend by Trek Nutrition Flex Guard. You know, people don't realize how important joint support is. I mean, you're only as strong as your joints <laughs> to some degree. You know, everyone concerns themselves about building muscle and blah, 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 blah. But come on, let's just let's just think about, you know, the, the cartilages, the ligaments and, and, and your joints in general. So joint health is very important. I mean, uh, don't underestimate how important joint health is. I mean, um, the complex here is, is is pretty vast. You know, you got your MSN, you got your glucosamine, you got your you got a number of you got your 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 you got your fatty acids, EPA, DHA, you got your chondroitin sulfide. You know, which is uh, which is which is good, which is good, which are sold by a no number of uh, independent stores individually. So a blend like this is great. It's got your vitamin C, a bit of calcium as well. Um, I take this every morning as well um yeah just uh, just uh one scoop um i half the recommended doses that's what i do i half it so if the recommended dose is two i'll just take one that's how i work um i'm a minimalist in that sense meaning i will just use what i believe is necessary for myself but don't forget joint support i can't stress how important it is joint cartilage ligament support and so forth so definitely a worthy investment in getting something like this um i'm telling you you can't go wrong all right that covers so you got your multivitamin here you got your joint support um what should we, where should we start now um let's talk about uh important important um uh supplement that not many people kind of take uh, and and that is actually a, a good digestive enzyme i mean i always believe you know making every um macro and micronutrient count you know so having a digestive enzyme will maximize that i mean let's just say you know if i'm having a steak if i'm having a chicken if i'm having eggs i want to make sure i will maximize um you know digesting and breaking it down and in my system rather than just going just just you know coming out of my system without even being processed so um with something like this i maximize i maximize my digestive you know capacity especially the older you get you know the older you get the more emphasis the digestion plays on and, and the content here is is, is is pretty good you know the quest the quest digestive enzyme i mean you got you got your pepin you got your amylase you got your you got bromelain you got quite quite a you know extensive amount of minerals it oh well enzymes here i mean to break down your con your food content so <clears throat> 90 tablets yeah peppermint oil is just 
just to ease up the stomach um, but like i'm saying a worthy investment it's not really even expensive i mean um you know like i said make every calorie count you know break down the protein carbs and fats all right all right here we have it that's the digestive enzymes done um okay all right yep dhea i mean the importance of dhea um it's pretty significant hormonally you know especially for adrenal gland health you know we we live in a, we live in times where stress is pretty high with work with family with relationships and kids and so forth so you know um something that supports your adrenal glands and your hormonal environment is all important for me i use 100 milligrams every every morning and uh, it helps you know helps me uh, you know just to really um you know my everyday um you know activities and energy levels and you know i can i can i can feel the difference you know when i don't have this in terms of stress and cortisol how my body really responds to it so dha dhea especially the older guys you know above like 30 plus is definitely a supplement to have on board you know you will definitely feel a difference and also it does help with uh, your sex drive too so yeah definitely a worthy investment i i would say okay what's another one here what's this one oh this is the uh, oh yeah yep vitamin d3 um uh, this is very important um especially if you live in uh, living in places like you know europe and, and and england and london where it's not always sunny and, and so forth so you know most of us are deficient in vitamin d i actually recently had my blood work done and uh, i was vitamin d3 deficient so um and I, I, and I'm very conscious about my D3 intake. So you know, I up my codfish, I up my, I up my fish oil and my, and my, and my, you know, egg yolks just to try and get my D3. But I was still deficient. And people don't realize D3. <clears throat> it's not just a supplement. It's, um, it's steroidal, meaning it's, it also affects you hormonally. So uh, um, D3, you know, assists in testosterone. Um, assisting assisting a number of me mechanisms you know so uh this is kind of like a in some sense a test booster as well um along with zinc and magnesium but definitely d3 you know also supports your job but definitely d3 is a purchase especially if you live in climates like like london england so yeah definitely a muscle building property here um I recommend you get a good d3 um dosages i mean i use 5000 iu every other day rather than every day which is more than sufficient and uh, yeah that's how i do it another thing um oh, what's this oh, that's uh, chromium yeah, okay the reason why i take chromium is i got a you know i get sugar cravings and so forth and uh, they can be really annoying and i i realized when I, once i start using uh, chromium you know anything between one to three tablets a day which is i normally take actually one to two but they help with my sugar cravings and um, they kind of uh, i think it, it plays a role in your blood sugar level so it keeps it steadier but i realized that I, I, i'm not hungry for carbs or or hungry for sugar i'm not craving for any of that once i'm on chromium so it's a good way of actually you know keeping your blood glucose uh, level steady and consistent so um if you're if you're carb sensitive like me and insulin insulin sensitive like me definitely chromium should be uh, on your on your purchase list it's a good product um for for anyone really um uh, when they're dieting down and they want to regulate the uh, regulate the carbs and sugars and they want to have that that craving like i do with sugars and candies and so forth so yeah it's definitely a worthy purchase and definitely you should be looking into getting the chromium the piclinate version so this is it and that's the solid brand as well the brand is good i've always liked i've always liked the solid okay um another one is uh boron um boron is a trace mineral that i use um i use actually three milligrams a day um boron is hormonal support as well you know it helps testosterone 
um, it's a trace mineral from greens so um, for me I use this as a, as a natural kind of test boosting element um, it's hormonal support and uh, it, it plays a significant role you know research has proven that boron does aid in in uh, testosterone support and uh, <clears throat> and uh, plays a significant role in that so it's a trace mineral extracted from uh, you know uh, greens in general so I use this and uh, yeah so definitely definitely boron should be on your on your purchase list if you're serious about uh, hormonal support another um, yeah another supplement is fish oil and uh, your omega-3s I mean you know these days our diets are kind of full of consistent with omega-6 and 9s and and I uh, I use fish oil just to get my omega-3s to keep that ratio in check to keep that balance in check um, I use this also as joint support as well. Fish oil does aid in uh, joint support in terms of inflammation, you know. So I, I take a couple of capsules a day, uh, one in the morning and one before I go to bed. Um, you know, like I said, you know, fights inflammation, aids in recovery, you know, joint health, you know, and, and another a number of other elements like, um, you know, cholesterol, uh, cholesterol, a good cholesterol, black cholesterol, so it balances all out. Omega-3 is definitely an anti-inflammatory uh, compound that you should be having as, as, as a supplement but also in your diet too. So plenty of mackerel and sardines and salmon. But if, you don't, if you're not a big fan of fish in general, um, dose your Omega-3s with fish oil. Fish oil, not cod oil or, sap or anything else, fish oil. <clears throat> oh, another thing, yeah, that to, uh, what to look out for is... Um, is this the 300 milligrams active EPA and DHA so just make sure that's a significant amount and uh, dose it accordingly a um, couple of capsules a day should should do it um, okay um, oh, where should we start now okay all right okay. Uh, let's go for these two now, what I normally do, I cycle my pre-workouts, um, you know, four weeks on, four weeks off, and that's how it actually should be run. Um, when I'm on cycle for pre-workouts, uh, my personal favorite, I've always been Super Pump, Max, Super Pump 250 actually, Super Pump Max. Um, I love Gaspari range, and uh, this particular one is Super Pump Max. Um, citrulline, it's got leucine, it's got Carnic Pure, which is creatine and uh, it's a pretty good pre-workout I think every dose is like um, 250 milligrams of caffeine but I just use uh, I use uh, one scoop only rather than two so I split that dose so I get like 125 125 milligrams of caffeine but the good thing is that it's got citrulline and it's got leucine so you know you got your, you got your training hard property with citrulline and you got your leucine, which is anti-carbolic. Um, it kind of acts like a branch chain amino acid. This is why when I take uh, Super Pump Max 250, I don't really take um, uh, BCA with it. Um, as you can see, the content is pretty extensive. Uh, it's got your Super Pump Max properties, nitric oxide. You know, you got your branch chain. Yep, you see, you get your branch chain, so really you don't need a BCC, you know, with a lot going along with it. And uh, yeah, so definitely a worthy investment. Like I said, I've tried a number of pre workouts in the past, and what works for me is is, is always the Caspari Nutrition, um, Optimal Endurance, Energy, and Hydration. So when I'm off uh, my cycle of pre workouts in terms of Super Pump 250, I take a non caffeine based. Um, pre-workout which is a uh, uh, nitric oxide base mainly for the pump l-arginine aakg uh, pre-workout caffeine free when i'm off pre-workout cycle and uh, yeah so this is a good product the ctd sports one um you can see the formula there you know 6250 milligrams of uh, blend of uh, nitric oxide for the pump so yeah you can see you know 
it helps with blood flow, helps with you know a number of elements in terms of its benefits in getting in getting a good pump and good workout. I take this along with uh, vitamin C and, and L leucine. Um, this is, as you can see, I take it along with that. Um, vitamin C is important, you know, especially pre-workout. I take it, you know, it's anti-catabolic. You know, when you train, you're raising cortisol, and, and vitamin C helps to combat that. Um, it aids it aids in combating uh, elevated cortisol during training along with obviously optimum hydration and this compound here helps with the pump as well so you've got a blend going on both so vitamin c ellicine and you got this the akg with uh with the l orthanine as well which really gives you that uh, kind of caffeine free uh pre-workout if you're caffeine sensitive or you're cycling off pre-workouts in general so that would be my recommendation for that all right what, what else do i take uh yep oh, let's go for gluten glutamine i mean i take um i don't really often take l glutamine but why when i do take it is like five grams before i go to bed um and i think uh, the reasons being that it in one sense it aids in immune system support but research have actually, research have actually kind of shown that it does aid in or assist in uh, growth hormone and growth hormone release and so forth but i primarily use it as a immune system support and and uh, yeah that's that's the reason why i kind of do it is just make sure that uh, i'm optimally recovered you know recovery for me is as, is as important as training so having doing whatever is necessary for recovery is 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 very important for me so i take this uh, five grams before i go to bed um i, I used to take it post-workout but i i post-workout i what i do is uh, i take uh, creatine instead so uh, i just take between three to five grams post-workout of creatine mono and uh yeah, that 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 kind of does work for me in that sense. So once I'm, you know, once I've trained hard and I've got that pump going, I'll have about three to five grams of creatine mono um, along with, uh, I don't know, like a like a like a like a like a orange juice or an apple juice to just shut the sugars in my system. And uh, yeah, that's why I use uh, pulse workout. So three to five grams of creatine and. I've never done this loading and phase and all that nonsense. I've just take it just three to five grams after I train. I just take it. But with creatine, even at a small dose, it's best to kind of cycle it like six to eight weeks on and six to eight weeks off. And what people have been doing is they've been switching both creatine and glutamine either way. Some, you know, like maybe six to eight weeks of this post-workout and then switch it back to this, six to eight weeks and then switch it back to this. So people have kind of use both in some sense because they do kind of both act similar in terms of recovery and and getting that water into your muscles and and so forth so yeah i mean have a look into that experiment with that like uh, five grams bed and five grams after your workout and cycling between and see how your body re responds and reacts because it's all about trial and error and seeing how your body responds to supplements in general so that's that that's them two done okay. now in terms of protein powders uh, my personal choice is having a blend protein from a number of sources currently i'm cycling this one uh, biotech usa um, as you can see it's a five source protein so you know i'm not really focused on just one protein it's like whey isolate or anything like that i rather have a range going on like casein and egg and whey so you've got a blend going on um, i'm not a big fan of fast acting proteins i rather have something just fast medium and fast medium and slow so you've got a number of time releases so my personal recommendation is always go for a blend and uh, at the moment i'm cycling uh, the biotech usa chocolate flavor which is nice which is which is pretty nice and with this is also um it's also got a um as you can see a multi-vitamin blend as well um 
yeah it's got it's got a multivitamin uh, composition going on so which uh, which is worthy you know and uh, it's value for money in some sense so fusion 85 is my kind of my choice uh well, i'm currently cycling as in protein powders um, i don't rely on protein powders i get most of my proteins from food sources anyway but just as i don't know like a post workout or if i'm on the go i will take a protein powder with me okay um along here what we have is we just have carbohydrate source of food um i take real food for convenience um this one is real sweet potato oats and yam um it's basically um, a carbohydrate complex carbohydrate on the go and uh, yeah that's what that's what i take uh, same with this this one is real rice and oats um complex carbs you know um that's what i that's what i kind of take uh as a convenient uh as being convenient rather than um anything else but like i said these are no substitute for real food you know cook your rice you know boil your potatoes and and those should be your prime dishes. but like i said for convenience sake like if you if you haven't got time and you're you're rushing around and you know and so forth i i normally take you know a couple of scoops of this and a couple of scoops of that and, I, and i'll put it in my shaker or i'll put it in my blender and i'll blend it and and so forth so just for convenience sake this is the reason why i i have um both uh well all three of them is for convenience but like I said, these are no substitute for real food gains are made through real food this is just support um and it is food yep yeah, it is food but you know i don't want to knock it look you got you got real rice here and oats you got um sweet potato and and, and oats as well and this is like the five sources of protein but don't rely on it you know just just consider it as like a bonus you know in, in the in sense of you have an ability to you know to have this on the go and uh, you know to stack a few uh, you know packets of protein powders and, and and carbs and have it whilst you're I don't know on the bus or on the train or or, or somewhere else anyway so that's that's that um ah yeah well like i said food sources again you know the egg pro um it's uh, egg whites so like i said see how i'm kind of geared towards food based proteins in general so you got your egg whites um here and you got your uh, carbohydrate sources here from the uh, slow digesting complex carbs and you got your five source protein powder here so like i said you know as you see my mindset is if i were to invest in in protein powders and so forth or i would or, or complex carb sources i would rather have from oats and, and rice and and uh, a sweet potato and egg whites and casein protein milk protein and and egg whites as well and and so forth so you can see how my mindset operates in, uh, in that in that fashion so i hope you guys uh, have kind of uh, enjoyed this uh mini vlog um i know you know I've, most of the messages i get especially on social media is sam what supplements do i take sam you know blah 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 and i'm like this primarily focus on your diet primarily focus on food real food and this is all just a bonus i mean i take all this in support um but like i said you know it's just a bonus uh, I, I don't rely on any of this what i have here my main my main sources of uh minerals and 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 fiber and, and protein and carbs and fats is from food that's where the real gains are made but i use this as aids and and even if it helps me like i don't know 10 percent, then it's a worthy investment for me personally even if all these supplements aid me in 10% of my muscle building, 10% in my training, 10% in my recovery, then I'm, I'm all for it. I'm willing to invest and pay for that 10%. So there you have it. I hope you've kind of enjoyed this, uh, this video log. And if you've got any questions, you can fire away uh, to me via social media. And I'm, I'm more than willing to, uh, to talk about this. I mean, I've got, I've got, I've got good experience in what 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 works and what doesn't work and 
what's value for money and what's not value for money. But like I said, um, all these supplements in the world, now no substitute for real food, no substitute for uh, hard work and, 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 and dedication and consistency in your training and nutrition and your sleep and your recovery and so forth. So um, I'm signing off now. And don't forget, guys, to uh, subscribe to my channel, Downboard TV. Like, comment and share. Um, as always, appreciate your support.